So it's your boy Downsize and I'm back once again on my block with another hood classic. Now I want to give greater context to that video I just put out that tape call with Greyhound and the question I asked him concerning uh, when it became acceptable to start targeting family members. Um, now I often get asked by people um, about the rules. They're always asking me, isn't that against the rules? Isn't that against the rules? Isn't that against the rules? Well, let me take you back to when I take the oath with Crow, right? Because at, at that time, at that moment that I took the oath with Crow, I was given a hit list. I was given a hit list and I was told these people need to be hit and anybody that you feel needs to be hit, you just do it. Take care of your business and, and deal with the consequences later. And, and, and as Crow would tell me, oh, I'll, I'll have your back for what it's worth in the end, right? But never was I given any rules because there are no rules that govern those members of the internal security because those are your headhunters they as i said before to my knowledge every member of the internal security has black roses roses um all have earned them as members and you know some prior to well most have prior to as well but when it comes to the internal security, that's cleanup, that's waste management, that's that's where that's who and what you call on to get it done. So there's no rules. There is no rules. And as Crow would tell me at that time, that when we were discussing the whole issue about drive-bys and whatnot, because um, this is all that this is all part of these discussions, as he would tell me that all is fair in love and war. If you, if you hit one of his carnales, he'll go after all of yours. If you hit one of his brothers, he's going to go after your family. That's how he looked at it. Now, many of us grew up this way, mind you. Actively involved in gang wars where we were going back and forth trying to kill each other. We didn't care who got caught in the crossfire because we were kids at the time for one thing. Keep this in mind that we were not grown men out there shooting at each other, shooting at kids. We were kids shooting kids. Context matters. And so anyway, this is, this is the mentality of those members as I would know them. There's never, there is never, it's all pride and ego that motivates those particular members because the status of those members who everyone knows kills and will kill, it's those members that pose the greatest threat and that all other members are afraid of. Those are the ones they pander to and, and placate and, you know, they bend over backwards for because those are the ones who get the job done. Now, as it was just said, all is fair in love and war. Okay, now, some people have integrity. You know, some people have honor, as they would call it in that world, you know, as misplaced as it is, because there's no honor nor integrity in killing your own kind for really no reason, for even being in that world. You know, there's no honor and integrity in any of it. But there's those who... who have certain morals and certain lines that they won't cross while others don't care. Others do not care who gets killed once you cross them, especially if you cross family. Now there have been members who've made that mistake as, as noted in that, in that conversation between me and Greyhound. That, that there are those who are foolish enough and big-headed enough to, to, to target people's families. All the while forgetting who they're targeting. Right? 
whose family is being targeted and how that person or those people are going to react or overreact to what is happening <coughs> or to, you know, their family being targeted. Now, let's, let's, let's think about this. If you target my family, then all is fair in love and war. You've made a decision that it's to, to, to bring in more people than needed to be. Right? And for what? What threat does any of them pose to any of them? None. So, as it pertains to rules that govern the, the Mexican Mafia, at least here in Arizona, there's none. It's what those members feel should be done in that moment regardless because whatever rules exist, they're always changing. They're evolutionary. You know, it all depends on who's in a position, who's got the greatest influence, at the moment and who can persuade the most people to do what they want done. But now it's become so divided. With the with with the chopping of the head, there're just three four heads that pop up. So there is such divisions that exist now that, you know, a weakening of the cause because it it's been lost for a long time. Because it's lost its way. But then again, did it ever know its way? If there's rules that govern any society, laws, bylaws that govern any society, then you don't have mistakes like that. You don't have people's family getting targeted. You don't have people run amok because they get a patch and they get power and they can, and they can persuade people to do what they want them to do. Now, nine times out of ten, these dudes get these patches and they insulate them around a bunch of little playboys that they can play into, into protecting them, becoming shields for them. Shields to go and, and commit murders and crimes that they themselves can, can avoid prosecution from. So long as there's no conspiracy involved, they can keep themselves and, and anyone there from turning on them in the event of a conspiracy. And they, and they put these people in the forefront of themselves to, to, to keep themselves from getting hit as well. Because they themselves, once you need to insulate yourself and surround yourself and protect yourself from the elements, then you are weak. And when in the, in, in the event of war and those people that are insulated in the fashion that they do, and you see when, when, when their insulation gets removed, you see how people overreact. You see what the actions then become. First, they start talking family, then start talking to the homies. And then, and then what do they do? They turn to the police to negotiate. I let everyone judge it for themselves. But as far as there being rules, there's no rules. At least not to my knowledge when it came to the internal security. And I'm going to leave you with that. Peace! I'm out.